All right, good morning, everybody. We have talked about these words for a while. They finally get their own lesson. Welcome to Lesson 84, talking about mean, mode, median, and range. So let's go ahead and do some review. Remember, the mean is just another word for average. Mean means average. And remember, when you do an average, that's when you add all the numbers, then divide by how many numbers you added. Mode is the number that appears most often in a data set. But here's the tricky part the kids sometimes forget. If no number appears more often, then there's no mode. Median, most kids got a handle on the number in the middle of a data set. Here's what they sometimes forget. If you arrange it from lowest to highest first. And then the range is simply the difference, meaning the answer when you subtract between the highest and lowest numbers in a data set. So not too tough, and they are always in the back of your book, easy to look up if you get confused. So let's kick it off right now. What is the mean of this data set? And mean means average. I'm going to start off by adding. I'll go 3 plus 7, that's 10, plus 9 more is 19, plus 9 more makes 28, Finally, four more is going to give me 32, right? But that's not the answer. That's the first step. Then we have to go and divide by how many numbers you added. It appears to me we went and added five digits, right? So I'm going to go ahead and divide by five. So Five's going to divide into 32 six whole times. It's going to multiply back for 30, and I'm going to subtract for 2. Here's the interesting part. Whenever they're asking for a mean or an average, don't write your answer with the remainder. Write it as a mixed number. That 2 is the numerator. The five you're dividing by is your denominator. Your mean is not six remainder two, it's six and two fifths. What is the median in the following data set? So remember, we're looking for the number in the middle, but it's not nine because we have to first arrange these numbers in order from lowest to highest. So let's take a look at 799 here, and I better get them more at the end, right? So now that I have the numbers in order from least to greatest, lowest to highest, our number in the middle is easy to see. Our median is 7, right? The number in the middle when you order them from least to greatest. The mode in the following data set. Remember, the mode means the number that appears most often. Here I have a 9, and here I have another 9. So my mode, in this case, is going to be 9. And the range in the data set. The difference, meaning the answer when you subtract between the highest number, which is a 9, and the lowest number, which is a 3. What is going to be 9 minus 3? And hopefully everybody knows 9 minus 3, that is 6. So this data set has a range of 6. All right, we're going to run through this one more time. Even if you think you know it all, I'm showing you a few things this go around that you didn't see on the first go around, so you want to make sure and pay attention. Kicking it off right now, what is the median in the following data set? So just like we did before, our first mission, we have to get these numbers arranged from least to greatest. So why don't we go ahead and try to do that? All right, so mission accomplished. We have our numbers successfully arranged in order from least to greatest. 
Now here's the kick. When you have an odd number of data points, it's pretty easy to find the median or the number in the middle. But check this out. I actually have eight here and eight is an even number. That means I truly don't have one number in the middle. I actually have two numbers in the middle. And when you get to that point, and from here on out you will, what you then have to do is take your two numbers in the middle and you want to go ahead and find an average of those two numbers. Maybe you can go and find these two in your head, but I assure you, they're eventually going to get too tough where averaging is probably your only hope. So let's go ahead and average 4 plus 6. Well, 4 plus 6 makes 10, and then I'm adding the two numbers in the middle. So that means to find an average of them, I'm going to go and divide by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5, so the median truly is 5. And like I said before, maybe you could have figured that out looking at it, but if there is a wider space between here, average is the best way to find that. Okay, so stay focused and pay attention because you still haven't seen everything yet. Okay, let's go ahead and do it all over again. One more time, what is the mean? And mean means average. Two things to do on an average problem. First, we have to add 1 plus 3 plus 7. That's going to give us up to 11. Plus 4 more, that gives us 15. Plus 9 more gives us 24. Plus 10 more gives us 34. Plus 6 more, we're at 40. And now 2, that means 42, right? But that's not the mean or the average. That's merely the first step. Now I have to take that number that I added all those and divide by how many numbers I added. I added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I added 8 numbers, so I divide by 8. 8 is going to divide into 42 five whole times, right? Multiply it back for 40 and subtracts for 2. We talked earlier about leaving our numbers not with remainders, but as mixed numbers. And here it gets a little bit more interesting. My remainder was 2, my divisor is 8, but guess what? I have two ways I can reduce that guy down, can I? I can divide both sides by 2. So let's go ahead and divide now. 2 divided by 2, numerator divided by numerator, that's going to give me 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Denominator divided by denominator, 8 divided by 2. Hey, that's 4, but I'm still not done yet. We have one last step. Don't forget to bring the whole number back over there, right? So if I had 5 and 2 eighths and I'm done reducing it, my actual answer will be 5 and 1 fourth. Let's take a look. What is the mode in the following data set? The number that appears most often. I have a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4. I don't have a 5. Then I have 6, 7, 9, and 10. I don't have a number that appears most often. I don't have a mode. So my appropriate answer in this case would be there is no mode, no number appears more often 
than any of the numbers do, right? If you don't have a mode, just write down no mode. And what is the range? Remember, that is the difference between the highest or greatest value in your data set and the lowest or least in your data set. So 10 minus 1, welcome back to third grade, 10 minus 1 is 9. So you have a range of 9 in this data set. And that, my folks, is the end. The trickiest part about this is remembering the exceptions to the rule. And if you get hung up on those numbers, they are all available for you in the back of your book. Good luck, and you're definitely going to want scratch piece of paper for the Socrative quiz. Really, that's all, folks.